and action. All right, Susan, I've got to put my cards on the table. I didn't want to tell you this because I didn't want to hurt your feelings. You're just not dream girl. I'm sorry, I wish you were, but let's face it, Susan, my heart doesn't beat when you walk into the room. I don't get goose pimples when you touch me, all right? I don't, you know, get nervous when I'm with you, okay? I'm sorry, I wish you were, but let's face it, Susan, you're too human, you're too vulnerable, all right? You've got too many problems. And Susan, if there's one thing that bothers me most, it's, you know, maybe this really doesn't bother other men out there, but I think about this one a lot. Susan, you have two thin arms. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, of course, of course, it wouldn't be much of a big deal to other men, but you know, I, like I said, I think about this a lot. So I don't think I could be faithful. I mean, I want to be faithful. I just don't think I can. Ever since we got engaged, when I'm walking down the street, I want to grab every ass that I see, all right? That's not normal, okay? <laughs> if you were my dream girl, I wouldn't have any problem not giving a second glance to these women, all right? Don't you understand? I need somebody more perfect then it wouldn't be so much work for me to love and be faithful. I could just show up. Okay. I got watched it. it a little bit, but. <laughs> yeah, it's not a deal breaker. You're just finding things. Coming to, up with shit, yeah. You're coming up with shit, yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> you're, trying, because you're panicking. Yeah, exactly. All right, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, All right. Be, I get it, that'll definitely be And be, be a little better. gentle with her. You don't want her to go kill herself because you're breaking gotcha. up. You try to just you know, be logical with her and appeal to her, her better sense that we should just give this a break. And, you know, maybe we could get, you know, we're not ready right now. You know, be nice yeah. to her. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. All right, yep. good. And, Thank and you. work on work on the memorizations because it has to just fly, you know? Yeah, I freaking had it before. I was, did it like five times in a row, no problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and so and there's something very funny about in both cases, it's very similar. Your piece and Nadia's have a lot of parallels. Like when you're really like in love with somebody, and, but you're having, but there's all this craziness that's getting in the way. It's like, yeah. that's a very common thing that happens in comedy. It's very, yeah, Seinfeld, yeah, yeah. very Seinfeld, you know? You know how in Seinfeld, yeah, they'd it's... always like, he'd meet some girl who was crazy about, but then it would always be like some stupid shit that got in the way. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like he saw her pick her nose and they, now he can't go out with her anymore, you know? <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of Shallow Hal. I don't know if you saw that movie. Yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah. So, so think of Seinfeld a little bit, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Nice job, nice job, John. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's a, great, it's a great piece for you. Yeah.